Yo, 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 what's up? YouTube, it's a junkie and I'm back with my very special, my favorite time of the year. It's Halloween, it's like a week and a half away, um, or not even that, it's like eight or nine days away. So, I love doing these types of videos this time of year. Uh, my favorite horror Halloween books, um, like I said, it's my favorite holiday the entire year. It's, it's more, it's, I love it more than Christmas. Thanksgiving, Easter, well, except for the turkey on Thanksgiving, but it is by far my favorite holiday. I love being scared. I love scaring people. I love horror movies. I love ghost hunting. I love horror comics. I, lo I love it all. So, let me just go right into it. This is going to be a multi-part multi, multi -part video um, showcasing some of my, like I said, some of my favorite Halloween horror type books, and, uh, what better way to start it off than with some EC goodness? Now, you know, most people can't afford the uh, original EC books from the 50s and 60s. They are quite expensive, even in, in rough grade. Um, so, I have a solution. Buy the reprints. These awesome e-prints from EC um, actually reprint the older stories from the older books. Um... You have Tales from the Crypt, Vault of Horror, Haunt of Fear, uh, Weird Science. I mean, just a bunch of different ones. I'm going to show them all here. Um, now, I got I got all the numbers grouped together, like all the number ones grouped together, twos, threes, but they're from different volumes. So, um, you can find these relatively cheap on eBay. Um, they can be expensive. You just got to look around and, and wait for the best deal. But, uh, but there's Tales from the Crypt, number one. And here's number two. And they just show some of the classic covers from back in the day. I have another copy of number two. Here is Tales from the Crypt number three. I have two of those. Number four. Like I said, there are m multiple volumes of these uh, of these here. Here's another copy of number four. Here's an another f copy of four from a different volume. It just depends. Um, you gotta do your research on them. Here's number five. And here is another volume of five. As you can see, the top gives it away. Like the border here is in a solid, a solid color. This one here is blank. And this one up here says double-sized horror. And this one says 64 pages of vintage EC horror. So you can kind of tell which volumes these are from. And here is issue number six. So that is the Tales from Crypt. Uh, of course, I've got the classic Ouija board in the back. I suggest not using it alone. Um, Haunt of Fear, number one. Haunt of Fear, number one. Haunt of Fear, number two. Another volume. Of, there's number two. Number four. I don't have as many of those. I really need to hunt down the rest of these books and, and complete my collection of these easy horror. And, of course... Eventually, one day, I would love to um, get some originals. Those That would be awesome. Even in lower grade, I wouldn't even care. Uh, here's Weird Fantasy, number one. Then we have Weird Science, number one. Shock Suspense Stories, number one. Here's Weird Science, number two. Weird Science, number three. And Weird Science number four. Those are more of the sci-fi type books. Um, still pretty good reads. Great time to read them during this time of year. And let me get these out of the way. Like I said, guys, if um, you can find these on eBay, they reprint the originals, which is a, is a really fun, really fun stories. Um, here's Vault of Horror number one. Vault of Horror number one. I believe this was the very first EC reprint that I ever bought, and I read it multiple times. I have multiple copies of it. I love it, man. It's just great, great stories. Um, Vault of Horror number two. Vault of Horror number three. Vault of Horror number four. Vault of Horror number four from a different volume. And I have a couple copies of that. And Vault of Horror number six. So I am missing some. And like I said, these were pre-code... A lot of these stories were pre-code days. So... Yeah, um, like I said, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna pump out a bunch of these videos and my favorite uh, 
stories, my favorite books during this time of year. I have a bunch of horror books, so I'm going to pump out as many videos as I can until Halloween hits. Um, I start vacation on Friday. I always take a vacation during Halloween. Every single year since I can remember, I've always taken a vacation during this time of year. I've, I, I do not work Halloween. Um, I work in retail, and I do not work it. I will not work it. It's my favorite holiday. I binge watch horror movies from the night day before. I usually do like an, a, a movie marathon of horror movies. Um, it's just like I said, it's my favorite holiday. Anyways, guys, it's The Junkie. This is part one of my favorite horror books for 2018. It's Junkie. Peace. I'm out.